Hailing from Sussex, Wisconsin, Patrick Bolden Jr. is a 6'10 wing weighing 230 pounds with a 7'2 wingspan who played his college ball at Milwaukee. Let's start in the offensive end. His mid-range jumper looked pretty good but was wildly inconsistent. Here he's coming off some movement and gets into the jumper and releases it quite quickly but just can't get it to fall through the cylinder. Here's a similar one. Everything looks good except the ball doesn't fall through the net. This is a really nice one. He gets his feet around to face the basket really quickly and that allows him to be set nice and early and get this video off from the free throw line. And this one does go in. On the other hand, he has a similar look, but this time he leaves it very short. And then this one ends up long. He does get his distances right finally, but this is what I'm talking about. Wildly inconsistent, but the mechanics are there. And the ability to make these adjustments in game is encouraging. This was a nice little isolation possession and you'd just like to see more of it. The tools are there, he just needed to use them better. This miss though was particularly egregious. The first thing you'll pick up with Baldwin is that he is a physical specimen. He's got that prototypical NBA body and he proved to be dominant physically at this level. He's got a decent face-up dribble game However, I wouldn't classify him as an amazing ball handler. Every now and then he'll drive to the basket and make these kick out passes. His height helps him get these passes over defenders. This is a lovely find. And again, his height helps him access these passing lanes. Here's a similar one. This type of pass is something he's proven to be very adept at identifying and executing. This skill should increase in value when he gets to the next level, where the shooting around him is just better. Here's a little no looker for good measure too. You'll definitely see some flash in his passes every now and then. Then again, he can be a bit too ambitious with his passes at times. Lastly, on the offensive end, let's talk about his 3 point shooting. The jumper itself looks good, if not a tad bit slow. So the fact that he's shooting it this badly from 3 is a surprise. Either that number will improve with time, or there's nothing else to do and he's just never going to be a good shooter. I tend to believe that guys with good mechanics usually come good in the end though. The free throw percentage is encouraging too, especially for a guy like him who has a solid jumper mechanically. I'm not completely in or out on the jumper, but I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on it. Defensively, his long arms allow him to populate passing lanes and get deflections. Here he shows great anticipation to get in the way of this pass. He's not always the most active and engaged defender though. Finally, I think there might be some room protection potential there as well. Baldwin Jr. scored 25 points per 100 as the only lifeline on his Milwaukee team. His stat page should probably have an age restriction on it and I don't think you'd see it on a Milan catwalk. The numbers are there in front of you and it's tough to point to one and say, yeah, then it's sold with confidence. Defensively though, there is some hope. His steal plus block numbers are pretty good. Other than that, there's not much to write home about from a numbers point of view. Baldwin's experience at Milwaukee proved one thing. He's not going to be the best player in a championship roster. The situation was awful, but I do have to admit he didn't really raise the level of his teammates either. 
I also just want to repeat, his team was awful. He played on maybe one of the worst college teams in the country. I still think that there's a role for him at the NBA level though. I do think that there's some shock creation ability there, his off-ball defense was really good when he was engaged and I believe the shooting will improve. There is a lot of risk with him but the tools are there and they just need to be developed correctly. A realistic flaw for him would be a shooter off the bench who's not a complete disaster defensively. A realistic ceiling would be a high-end starter who can shoot and finish plays but also create for himself when his team needs it while providing average or even slightly above average defense.